So using the color chart that's provided, you can use your crayons, colored pencils, markers. You can even use your watercolor pencils. Um, so I'm gonna do maybe a little bit of both, but I do wanna pick a color scheme or a color group that I like those emotion colors. So uh, green represents calm and soothing, so I wanna go for that one. Blue is credible, reliable, professional, trustworthy, strength. And I'm gonna also go with purple. It is protective, thoughtful, wise, imaginative. So these are also the cool colors. So I'm gonna pick colors that I want to show with my words. So you can pick up to five colors in yours and just use the color chart uh, with emotions so that you can pick those before you begin and then you can start adding color. So when we start applying the color, I want you to aim for some value. So showing dark to light. So I, what I did is took this little line that I created and I did dark at the top and I got lighter as I went to the bottom of that space. So that is um, a way that you can show that. You can do that in all your areas or in just some, but that is part of your grade to show me that you can shade from dark to light. So here's the in progress of the color. I'm still working on it, but you can see I'm doing dark to light in the center of this one, dark to light to that center. These were all dark on the top and then light toward the bottom of that shape. So you can do that any way you'd like. Another thing you wanna think about as you're working is moving that color around to make it cohesive and unified. So I have mostly blue and purple down here. I'm gonna add some green into this space and maybe here to kind of start moving the green around with it. So here is my completed colored piece. I did end up adding some yellow as a fourth color. So once you are finished, you're gonna take a photo and upload it to the media album for the finished mantra artwork.